It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Indianapolis Colts. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go on EA Sports. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback. Finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away may have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, make no mistake about it, they have lofty the expectations of this young man, and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. Richardson to throw off play action. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And under the line pressure he's brought down that winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack and that'll bring up third okay I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there nowhere to go outside he had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up eventually dropped for a huge loss Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Richardson to throw. This one completes Alec Pierce. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. On fourth down, the Colts will call on Rigoberto Sanchez for the punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And out come the Lions for their first drive behind their ninth-year quarterback in year number four with Detroit. It's Jared Goff. It's hardly an exaggeration to say that Goff has revitalized his career these last couple of years. And he's rewarded for it during the offseason, as Detroit has certainly made sure everyone knows he's their quarterback for the future. It's clear that they believe in it, and he's done nothing to sway them from that belief. Goff and this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Outright, this one goes to Patrick. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five. 
And that'll make it second down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Here's Gaul. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he is going to have a Lions first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Goff now to throw. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here now, second and four. Goff throwing again. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. And Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. He doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. A shotgun snap for gone. Open man right side is St. Brown. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Out of the gun, gone. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short. They elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And his kick here is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Well, now how about this return? And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. 
Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Richardson looking to throw. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. Richardson. Pass complete downfield, it's Pierce. He's gonna go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. Now Richardson, connecting over the middle with Downs, and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On the option left, Richardson. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Colts are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Matt Gay on for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Anthony Richardson who took it into the end zone to finish things off. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Now it's gone. This is caught by Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
The Goffin Williams hooking up there for a Lions first. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Montgomery on the counter, and not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him to no gain. Back to Montgomery on second down. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Third down, the Colts beefing up the secondary. Six defensive backs in the game. Now gone. That is caught. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. St. Brown in motion right. Play action. It's gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. Montgomery back to the ground. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 15 yards for the Lions there and a first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Here's gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week, said that has to be us looking good early. I like how you saw that because of the bold letters, right? You saw the emphasis that they place on that and what they believe in. And for them, it's every single snap. So it's not just a matter of getting to the quarterback and knocking the ball free. They're trying to read when that ball's going to come free. As soon as those hands separate to throw the ball, they want to be there and have a chance to knock it out. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Following the fumble recovery, Richardson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Yeah, he'll be stopped at about the 38 after a pickup of four. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession. Third and 12. As they've got it as we resume action. Richardson looking to throw this. 
And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense set to take over. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. Over the middle and taken in by Laporta. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now a run with Montgomery. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Call. the ball away and it falls incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half and now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. In motion goes the tight end. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Off the option, here's Taylor. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Now it's Richardson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. 
Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down and a yard. On the option left, Richardson. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people were worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. Here's Taylor again, and this time he'll score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor, he's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come. And he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Goff and this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Now second and nine. 
In motion right, that's Williams. Goff now looking to throw. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 39. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back to throw, golf. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. From the gun, here's Goff. Finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 23. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, golf. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now a second and ten. Golf. Incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Goff now to throw. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And this one is right through. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Richardson to throw off play action. He'll drop this down to Taylor. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Now, that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. 
His throw incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Richardson working from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because when they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Here's Richardson to throw. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual-threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. There, Richardson back to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Richardson looking to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 22-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Richardson delivers another one to Pierce and able to get him down but he does reach the five give him back to back catches now that one for 16 and another first down that's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other they've got a real rapport going and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play now a timeout signaled for and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime to the air with Richardson. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Uh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Gay knocks this one through. 
So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. This fielded right at the goal line. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big-time factor in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Now Goff. Looking middle, and that's complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down and eight. Williams, a man in motion right. There's Goff. Right side to Williams. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Now Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. To the air again, golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Off play action. Here's Golf. And that's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind 
that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. The tight end in motion right. From the 50, it's gone. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Lions first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two. Just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. Throwing again is gone. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. Here's Goff. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Goff throwing again. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Goff now looking to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. That's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler. First round pick back in 2012. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll send the tight end in motion. To throw is gone. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. Second and 20. Again, golf. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Nothing opened down field. He had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all throw trying to check it down to his running back incomplete this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down golf now looks to throw and he'll be brought down by the colts and now a stoppage and looks like we have a colt who was shaken up on that last play the medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Colts offense and Anthony Richardson ready for this next possession. 
And this defense has got to be at its wits end, trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go, and he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off play action, Richardson. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo'Ally Cox. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Richardson looking to throw this. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Now third down and very long. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Over the middle complete. That's Taylor. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at about the 32. In motion left goes a tight end. Goff now to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards that time for number 14. I tell you what, when you're down on the scoreboard, you've got to look to your stars, and that's what they do here to start the drive. I wouldn't be surprised if they looked his way a few more times in short order. That one, well designed, and it's a quick first down. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Go on. This one swung out to Montgomery. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 35. They'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. 
Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. This will be caught inside the 10. And they move this all the way down to the 9. A very solid gain of 27. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Back to throw, Goff. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. From the gun, here's Goff. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Tim Patrick from four yards out. And the Lions have cut it back within a score. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get it. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Colts offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. The way the game has changed a little bit is that defensive goals have changed in a big way. Nowadays, it's not so much stopping certain yardage or whatever, but it's not giving up big, explosive plays. Anything over 10 yards, you're trying to hold teams below that. When they get one against you, as we just saw there, well, that really hurts them. It puts them back on their heels a little bit and makes them a little bit less confident. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense... Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. 
Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Richardson working from the gun. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. The Colts on third down, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. Now it's Richardson. And that is incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. The Lions offense and Jared Goff set to take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now Montgomery running right. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. 60 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. It's caught inside the 25. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. A big play there for Detroit, 45 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. This will be caught at about the six. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Montgomery. 
is in for a Lions touchdown. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. So now here come the Lions up to go for two. Goff looking to throw. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they tried to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they will wrangle them down a couple of yards shy of the 30. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Now Richardson. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. A short one there, caught by Branson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. There, Richardson, back to throw it. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And this is a rarity in the NFL. A 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. Takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen. And, of course, a special player. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Richardson. Quick slant caught by Pierce. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Here's Richardson to throw. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Anthony Richardson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown.
Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll let Taylor try and run. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. And so they run it in on the two-point try. You know, so often, Charles, we talk about, from the offense's perspective, what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make it a quick decision and make it right now. There, the offense wins the battle for two. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 26. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they can let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Off play action. Here's Goff. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. The Lions on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third down and 12. Now it's gone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Well, that's how you convert on third down with an explosive gain of 34. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And they'll send Williams in motion right. Right side to Williams. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. St. Brown making the catch on the out route. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Running for it, Montgomery. 
And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 66 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. And what a tough spot for this defense because they know it's coming. But they're just powerless to stop it. What a great run there to start the drive. And you can bet there'll be more where that came from as they try to ice this game away. Richardson looking to throw. The toss here completely to Pittman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards for number 11. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. On the counter, it's Taylor. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They run once more with Taylor. And he is going to have a Colts first down. And that should be the one that finishes this game off. And they will take a knee here. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, 
quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one winds up in Indianapolis victory. And I think you'd have to label this an upset. Yes, they were at home, but still an upset. They got the job done. Yeah, even being at home was not enough for people to think they were going to pull this one off. But give them credit for playing not just a smart football game, but one where they were going to be physical about the whole thing. They put up their fists and said, let's fight, and showed their crowd that they were into this one. And that's the thing. The crowd responded. They were really good in this game. Yeah, they were not going to.